Okay. Uh, in what tense would we use it? Are you going to swim? Okay. Are you able to swim? And uh, so we would be talking about the. <coughs> can we use it in another in another uh, tense that we would be talking about? Are you able to speak English? Are you able to speak English? What about the future? Can we use that in the future? Future. Future. Will be able. So in the sentence. Will or will. Uh, in a sentence, maybe maybe a, a question. In, uh, Six months, I will be able to speak English. In six months, I will be able to speak English. Uh, is that a true sentence? No. <laughs> <laughs> see, I may. 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 Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Always. So, so I will be able to, right? I'm supposed to speak English. Supposed to. So, uh, so you could say you will be able to practice English in the United States. So it would be like the future tense. So we would use that for the future. Good, so we've, we've seen this before, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, so you guys seem pretty comfortable with that. I brought in this uh, communication exercise that we could do. And so what it does is it lists off uh, sentences uh, and beliefs using can, could, and be able to, right? So these are possibilities. These are things that we, that we can do, right? Things that we can do. Uh, and so... Uh, what it does is it lists it off and you read it and then you say if you agree or you disagree. So the first one is, to be able to speak English well, you have to live in an English-speaking country for at least one year. So, you can write, you can put an X if you agree, or you can put an A if you would like, and a D if you disagree. So, go, if you wouldn't mind just going through, writing an A or a D on each one. And then at the and then after you finish, uh, we can uh, talk about uh, if we agree or we disagree with the whole class because some of these I think we will have different opinions on. Huh?